We have a patient here who has a ganglion cyst. Uh, we're going to aspirate or drain it today. The cyst is marked out here with some dots. You may also see some red dots surrounding that. That's because we've done a field block. And when I say field block, we've taken some local anesthetic and numbed the area all surrounding this ganglion cyst. And now that our patient is good and numb, are you good and numb? Okay. We are going to aspirate or drain it. <clears throat> now the important thing about aspirating or draining this cyst is that we want to aspirate or drain it in a position that's similar to gravity. So her foot, the way she's sitting right here, gravity is pulling things down towards her ankle. And when she's standing or walking or doing normal activity, obviously the foot's going to be down on the ground. So gravity is actually going to be pulling it down towards the inside of her arch or towards the side of her toes or in between her toes. So in this case, I'm actually going to be going from this direction to aspirate. I have a couple different um, needles, so if you are squeamish, please look away. But what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to create negative pressure with my needle. And I'm going to <clears throat> basically try to withdraw some of this fluid as well too. So once we have sterilized the area, put the needle right into the cyst. You can see it pucker up a little bit because I'm actually creating a vacuum. And then we are going to aspirate or draw it out. And what we should start to see is potentially even some straw colored or something thick and viscous or something that doesn't move too much. It'll feel like a gelatin or gelatinous. Sometimes it comes out all in one. Sometimes we have to push it out almost like a pimple. Just manipulate a little bit more. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. Nothing quite yet, but don't fret. You can start to see it coming right now into the syringe. So basically breaking up that gelatinous material with my thumb, massaging it out. You can see that blue circle of where that original lesion had been. It's no longer prominent. And our patient is still doing good. So we're going to take that out. You can hear that vacuum. So there's the gelatinous material from the cyst. We're not done yet. I always say the enemy of good is better. So let's get more better. Let me see if I can express any more. It's pretty good. Now, we take a little steroid medication and inject into the cyst to keep it calm because believe it or not, everything I just did is going to make her toe in that area a little bit of angry. So we put a little steroid in there to kind of uh, help calm down the inflammation and the irritation. Then also hoping that that steroid medication will actually scar up a little bit of that trunk and allow that cyst to not grow back. So after we put a little bit of steroid medication in there, I again clean the area, <clears throat> put a little bit of a hand bike ointment, band-aid, you can remove the band-aid later on tonight. And I'm going to put a little bit of compression around her foot. And that's going to help keep this dressing intact and prevent it from uh, getting big again. Ganglion cysts, unfortunately, do have a high recurrence rate, but typically there are some things that we can do to help prevent them from coming back, including this compressive dressing, avoiding shoes or something that has straps that go across the top of the foot, doing stretches and exercises. And our patient will get more information about that later on. All right, take care.